Cracky. Hey guys, subscribe to Cubes here, and today is the 13th episode of Cubing My Speed. So, I did get two questions this time. One of them was on the um, review of the GANs um, 356 Air, but I just put them both in here because um, I didn't have. A, I only got one question on Cubing My Speed. <laughs> so, on the review, it's Mr. Gabe asks. What made you get the Gans 356 Air Master Edition? Um, well, the reason I got it was because I've seen a bunch of boxings and I think probably some reviews on it too. Um, the other one just disappeared, but they all just disappeared. But I've seen those and they, and they looked and they, and they looked cool. Um, and it looked and the cube looked cool, so I wanted to um, try it out. And I recently had my birthday, so I got. Um, gift cards and money and whatever, so I had some extra stuff that I could afford it. Because um, it is a pretty expensive cube. And I know they disappeared, but if you look back, this is what it says. Awesome Cuber asks, um, would you rather be world class and famous or an average Cuber? Uh, that's actually a really hard question. But I would actually have to say just an average Cuber because... Um, if you're world class and whatever, and famous and whatever, sure you get sponsored by everything, but it's also like a lot of rush when you go to competitions. You can't just, you know, people are gonna be swarming you and whatever, and it's gonna be kind of weird. You're not gonna have like all the time that you want just to <sighs> hang out and do, pretty much do whatever you want at the competition. You're gonna have people swarming you and asking you for autographs possibly. So I would say um, an average cuber. Um, speaking of competitions. Um, Bulldog Cubing is coming up this weekend, um, so I am really excited, um, like, it, I'm, I'm recording this on Sunday, and so that means there's, like, six days until Bulldog Cubing, which I'm super excited for, and I'm gonna be vlogging that, and I'm not gonna delete the footage, footage like, at Hillcrest Cubing, I'm not gonna delete it this time, um, but I'm really excited, and then Chicago's is coming up next month on in October the 28th, right before Halloween. So I'm really excited for that. Um, and also, I forgot to say, if you have any questions for the next Cube My Speed, you can leave those in, in the comments, and I will definitely try and answer them. And the solves for today were pretty okay, and I've been actually... I did, I did a new strategy for so, showing you the times. I just held the camera up to the screen at the end. A couple times I forgot to, though, so I had to stop the video. And, um... So, like, I, I stopped the video, forgetting that I had to, um... Forgetting that I had to take the timer up to the screen. So then I had to restart the video. Like, not restart it, but take another clip of me bringing it up to the camera. So sorry if that looks weird, but that's just what happened. Um... But yeah, I think the solves were pretty okay for this one. I think we have... I don't really know how many solves are left, but... Seems like it's taken extra long today. This might be the last one. I'm not really sure. Um... But I think... Yeah, I don't think I got any, um... Anything above... 335, which isn't... I'm not, I mean, 35 seconds. Yeah, I didn't get anything above 335 either, but I, did, I also didn't get anything above... 10 minutes either, so I mean. Oh, and that was the last solve. Okay, so thanks for watching, and see you later.